though, so I need to lay on him quick. He's dead now. Okay. I got two heavy wings up. Oh no. Have you ever wanted to play Tarkov? Late and white, but you thought, hey, it's too late and white, but I'll just get demolished from everyone wearing level 6 and drum mags full of the best ammo in Tarkov? Well, chances are, yeah, you probably will get demolished. But I wanted to see just how hard that might be. It definitely wasn't easy playing as a level 1 account going in this late and white, but you can still make some plays if you can hit your shots. I actually had a lot of fun making this video. If you get bored late and white, wipe your account and see what you can do as a level 1. Most likely, it'll just give you a head start for the beginning of next wipe. So with all that being said, let's hop right in so I can show you how it went for me. What's a good name to go with? Awesome. And I think we're going to go with Bear. I'm used to my other account. Plus, I, I never really go Bear, so we're going to try and see how that is. Man, all the faces are so ugly. <laughs> is this what Russians look like? I hope, hopefully not. I guess that's a normal face. But that guy there, oh my gosh. What is that? All right, so 500K. This is a fresh account, as you can see. Level one, everything is stock. I have not ran any raids. All right, so let's see what we need here. I don't need food or water. I'll take the BP ammo. Hopefully I have more than 30. Okay, that's two mags, Paka. And uh, the first task here, debut. Kill scabs on customs, get the shotgun. And to Sully was, so yep. Alright. I guess we're gonna go ahead and hop right into our first raid. Six o'clock. Alright, cool. Send it. To our first raid here. Where are we at here? All right, right here beside cracks. All right, let's see if we can make it inside. What we can make happen. Oh, I know we're gonna make it in, but let's see if we can get out. I might be able to get my first Salewa, and that's if I even make it out of this raid. But we'll take that. Juice there. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm gonna have to examine everything as I come across them as well. So that's certainly gonna make things a little bit easier. Ooh, Intel. There we go, baby. I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna do with that right now, but at least we got it. PRS ammo. All right, I guess we'll leave it like that for now. Check the floor, make sure there's no intel hiding. Uh, Nikita likes to be sneaky and hide the intel in places you can't see them. Alright, let's see here. Do we have any Salewas? A Grizzly, okay, that's nice. Kinda wish I didn't find that intel now, the Grizzly would be nice to have in my, uh, my gamma or my pouch. So, but we'll be alright, we'll see what we can do. Check this other room over here, see if I can get some or some meds. Make sure my gun's on full auto. Okay, there's a AFAC. Emo, that's good, that's good. Let me check my settings here, because, okay, it's still the same. I'm gonna turn that FOV down just a tad. Actually, I kind of like it back up at 75. I had it turned down for a while. I was playing like that, but not really my style. I like it having it all the way up. Uh oh. Whoa! Where? Did he? He must have jumped there, of course. But man, I really didn't catch any of that on my screen. GG though. Ammo used five. I didn't hit him. Okay. 
So unfortunately on the first raid, as you saw, we got wiped out. It made it into Cracked, it got us an intel, and some nice meds that could have helped us through the start of this fresh account. Unfortunately, we probably stuck around a little bit too long. Hopefully this next raid doesn't end like the last one did. All right, well, we got an intel. Um, not really too much help to us right now. It's raining right now, so I'm not gonna wear those headphones, but I'll smack my trusty bear helmet or hat and pack a... I guess I'm gonna throw a car in the container just in case. And we'll bring a grenade, why not, right? I guess let's go ahead and head in for our next raid. If I die again, uh, I might run a scav. We might run all the kits out, I'll see. I'm not really too sure how I want to play that. I kind of wanted to just see, you know, how the PvP is and how easy it is to the quest and how easy it is it to live in Tarkov, you know, right here at the end of wipe, late wipe. So far, not too good, but that was a little weird. So we'll see how the next one goes. Got a dorm spawn. Kind of don't want to run straight to dorms. I need Salewas and I need to kill scavs. So I might run over to um, the bus ramp here, the little bus loop, hit a few stashes and see what's going on. I know there's lots of stashes through here. I'm not the best uh, stash runner. Um, so bear with me here if I look like a an idiot just wandering, staring at the ground. I'm looking. I'm trying my best. I see. I know there's a stash here, but okay, there it is. Oh, can I open it? There we go. I'm go ahead and hotkey my meds. Okay, we got a helmet. Nice. We got a drill for the hideout. I know there's another stash right down here. At least this helmet prevents some of the uh, the rain noise. Running here real quick and try not to get shot. Running in. Okay, we got some food, some chops. Exfil years, okay. We'll take what we can get right now because we are broke. All right. I don't want to rush around too quick because I definitely have the disadvantage here. I feel like if I go toward Cracked or 50, it's going to be probably the least unsafe option I have. Obviously, Dorms is always uh, a hot spot, so I'm not sure if that's a good place to go either. I guess I'm going to head toward uh, Gas. Okay, well, there's one scab. He's dead. What do you have for me, Scavy? That outline there looks like a slick a little bit. I did not um, ensure any of my gear. But that armor is higher than mine. So I will take it. Let's put that there. Snag it. I don't think I can put that on yet. All right. Okay, they're right in front of me. I'm gonna turn around and run back in. See if I can get them up from the other side. Those scabs make it all the way across. Okay, don't shoot at me. Did he come in? Sounds like it. Oh man, I couldn't see him there. The gun was blocking him. What is he? Is he moonwalking? What is going on, Nikita? Oh, there he is again. Moonwalking. There's also no sound. Man, not that I could hear him anyway with this rain. But, good gosh. That's crazy. He's voice lining through the wall. I'm not sure if he 
It's one of those aimbot raider scavs. Not raider, but aimbot scav where he just knows I'm there. Ooh, man, these scavs are catching me off guard over and over. Okay, one down. That one sounds like he's kind of far away, so I'm going to make a run for this scav. Okay, he's got a scope. I'm going to drop this Sega. Oh, my hand, that scab is there. Run, run. Let's see what's in this. PS nearly full as well. This has a scope on it as well, so that's a little bit better than what I had. Scope, not the best, but it will do for now. Is this scab pushing me? Can't tell. The sounds are hard to hear with this rain. Oh, God. Oh, there's a pole there. Die. I can't aim. There we go. Man, that was awful. Hopefully that wasn't at me. All right. I might take this knife out of here because it's taking up too much space. Switch back to my other gun and then just get out of here. All right, well, I got another gun, a few scav kills, and some armor. I might hop out of this raid so I can bank that AK. Was that a person there? It, it is. It's the sniper scav, and he's dead. Huh. Hopefully no one's camping him. I doubt it, but... You never know with Tarkov these days. This AK is actually um, pretty damaged. Oh, did you hear that? Was that the barbed wire behind me? I really don't want to fight right now. Definitely did hear somebody take some damage though. It sounded like a barbed wire, like like hurt, but I'm not sure. I didn't hear the barbed wire, so just post up right here for a second. I think I just saw something run through there. Who knows? I could be crazy. Kind of hard to tell. It's not like it's very easy to hear anything right now. That shooting is... It sounds like this side of the wall. I mean, over there, but this side of that wall. Hmm. Certainly a lot going on right now. Let's see what extractions I have. RUAF. I don't have any keys, so I can't leave 13 to the power. Or I could run all the way over to Crossroads, which might be a good idea, running over there. Um, it might be safe if everyone over there has migrated over here already. Might be able to pick a few scabs off on the way. Okay. Oh, I killed him! Oh, what a spray! Man, that dude scared me bad. I jumped really hard. Man, that was a nice spray, though. I didn't even see that, man. Go ahead and get rid of this drill. This is a scab shotgun, or I would take it. Ooh, he has a grizzly. I think I'm going to forfeit the, uh, the Vaseline here for the grizzly. An ophthalmoscope. Ooh. Man. Nah, I'm going to have to take the ophthalmoscope. A CMS, that's big. An IFAC, I'll put that in there. And we got some uh, Magnum Buck. All right, not bad. That was a cheeky little spray there. I guess I could, yeah, I'll throw the, uh, the Grizzly in here. So I can still take it. These headphones, yeah, I can't take it anyway. All right. Ooh. And that dead sniper scab body keeps scaring me, even though I know it's there. 
I think we're going to try and head out of here. Because we have uh, plenty of loot. As much as I can hold. This probably isn't the safest route I could be taking. There's another scav there. Ooh, dropped him. Nice. I'm not going to try and loot him. I don't think it's safe. Especially now with this shot. SKS shots are pretty loud. About half. Hmm. I'm just going to chuck this mag down. I'm not too worried about it. I do need to regain some stam. 38 pounds. I'm overweight for this level 1. This is definitely not an easy scope to use. Can I take the eye cup off of this thing? Yes. There we go. I'll have to examine it first. Discard that eye cup. Yeah, throw that thing out of here. Much better. Let's go through here. It's a little, little bit more safe coming in here than it was running out in the open, but it looks like it's already looted from the little bit of loot that does spawn. My container's closed. Radiator helix. I'm gonna drop both of those mags. Clear me some space. All right. Oh, there's somebody up top. I don't know if that's a scab or a PMC. Where did he go? I definitely saw him up there. Ooh, I don't want to stick around here too long now. He knows I'm here. There was a PMC and he was smart. He probably ran into that middle staircase. Staircase is not easy to see from here either. Oh, something was running. I really don't want to take this fight. I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, it's a scab. He's back up top. Okay. Alright, there's the scabs done. Let's try and rotate out of here as quick as possible from that shot. That's good money, I'll take a thermometer. We're gonna hope nobody's over here because we're, we're running right through. Looks clear. Alright, so not a bad second raid. We absolutely smashed that raid. We got ourselves some armor and some much needed gear for future raids. We got all of our scab kills that we needed. We were able to take down a PMC and steal his loot. And most importantly, we managed to escape the raid.
hundred, so three thousand six hundred. Not too bad. We leveled up as well. That was to the thorax. Wow, that's very surprising. That was thorax. Got some headshots. Cool. All right, I think we're gonna roll with this kit for our next raid. I got the car med kit in my uh, container. If I find something, I can always take it out. But I've got plenty of heals, ammo, and I should be good. I'll go ahead and get something to eat really quick. What do we have on the menu? We have some Tashanka lunch boxes. Those are gonna fill all of it. So I guess I'll eat one of the Tashankas for now. And then my other tasks. So I'm gonna run back to customs. Look for the shotguns, look for Salewas, see what I can get done. All right, another crank house spawn. I guess we'll run in, try and see if we can get our Salewa. This time I might try and make my way through here quickly and get out and run to 50. I'm not sure if that's the safest idea, but it might be the best one for my Salewas. Run in, check, grab me some snacks. Cheese and a morphine. I need those morphines for later, but they need to be found in raids, so there's no point in me putting them in the old butt wallet. It's not gonna do much help if it's not found in raid. Okay, we got a 207 key. Not sure if that's worth anything. Keys this wipe really haven't been worth a whole lot. I'm not sure if Shoreline's just not popular or if the keys are just easier to find. I think they're definitely easier to find because I find them all the time. Nothing in the floor. No intel this time. It's all right though. I can trade this for a Salewa. All right, check the floor one more time. Okay. Shut that door just in case someone comes in here, they don't hear me. Oh, there's class. That's not good. Why would they have broke glass and there's two Salewas? Hey, what's up, man? He's talking to me in voice, but I can't hear him now. Oh, he got smoked. Oh, I'm so dead here. Jump. No, no. Ah! It took so long. Oh, man. It took me so long to wrap that around my arm. I don't know what was taking so long. Man, I had some hits, though. Looks like the armor took most of the damage. All right, we're cutting it a little bit slim on the loot here. I guess I'll take in this SKS. Definitely don't want this scope on it. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this back in and inspect that. Bring a splint. Actually, put the painkiller. Those are cheap. I'll bring that like that. Grab us some gear. This is a scav gun, so hopefully it doesn't jam up on me like everything else likes to. All right, we're going to hit customs one more time. If it doesn't go our way, then I guess I'll run me a scav and see what I can get from that. It sucks because I had both my Salewas that way, but lost them. All right. I was wondering if it was gonna stop raining. I don't see the rain falling. It's it's still hitting my eyes or the screen, but I guess we'll see. My instincts is taking me into Big Red, but I don't even have a key to loot Big Red, so there's no point in me going in there. So I'm gonna hit this little blue stash and make my way across. Or blue shack, not blue stash. Yo, 
that slant. Oh wow, green battery. Oh, there's definitely some fighting happening over there. Come on, give me a gun. Give me something. Well, no gun. But there's a scope. I really can't hear much. I keep getting paranoid thinking that someone's around me, but it might be the rain. I'm not sure. Now, it's probably not smart to just run straight to Cracked. That's where I've died two times now. But I need my Salewas, and I'm not really one to run from a fight. I probably should, because I don't have any loot, <laughs> or I don't have any more kits, but... We're gonna run right in and see what we can get. No scabs spawn here. Just hoping I could get a couple of them. Let me grab some armor better than this Paka. Or uh, an AK or something that's full auto. I'm not sure if loot actually spawns on this guy. I know the key does. There is loot. Yukon. We're gonna take all of it. Money's money, right? Especially when you don't have any money. Alright. I was hoping I didn't hit that metal, but it's alright. So the door up top on the staircase is closed. This one here is open. That's, that's how it spawns. Call me crazy, but it's not like I just heard someone rotate in that bathroom. Or like aim down sight. Maybe I'm crazy. Yep, I'm crazy. Oh man, the shots. And Tarkov always gets me with the sounds. Oh, Salewa, see? This is why we came. Just need to make it out this time. Alright. It's been looted. Hmm. Do you run in and grab the intel and leave, or is he still in here? not up here, that's for sure. Looks like that door is open. Snagged my Salewas and he ran away. What a mean guy. Well, the other question is, where did he go? I'm assuming toward 50 cal, right? 50 cal, stronghold, whatever people call it these days. Probably not smart. I need two more Salewas though. I know 50 cal is the place to get them.
gonna sit here and listen for a second. I'm not hearing anything. Snag us some food while we're in here. some money. Alright. I'm gonna go hit the other room to my left here. See if I can get some more meds. Oh your metal. Oh no. This might be bad, boys. He just painkillered. He must have heard me. He's walking in on the ramp to my left. Oh, there's multiple. Oh, yeah, this is not good. This is for sure not good. Man, it's like he knew I was standing there. That was weird. I was going to try and get him as he ran in, and he just... Okay, that's a name there. We're just going to go ahead and blur that name out. But we're going to go ahead and run a scav. So I think I'm going to hit a reserve scav, see if I can get some raider loot. I think it's a regular scam. Oh, probe it all. That's nice. This scam just walking right into me. What are you doing, man? You fake loot in that bag? Oh, okay. Um, there's a tank battery. All right. Well, it's not so much use to me right now. Um, and I'm definitely heavy. 56.7 kgs. I think it sells to therapist. I'm not sure how much, though. It sounded like a, uh, a scar over there. I'm not sure what's going on over there. I would like to get this tank battery out, but at the same time, I definitely need some kits. And uh, I think the kits are, might be more important. Try and get me a Salibo here. No, lunchbox. Some bolts. So we're going to run back into White Knight here and see if we can get anything off of the other floors. Could still be PMCs, obviously, but 
I'm going to th say fingers crossed there's not any BMCs. I'm going to run over to um, Black Knight here and see if I could find me some Salewas or anything else. Hopefully I don't get sniped. I like to lay down when I search this one. Oh, we've got some headphones. I like those more than that one. It's pretty loud. It's not like someone leaving over a hole in the fence. Grab our tank battery and let's roll out of here. Oh, hello, Scan. How are you? Always make sure I check right here on top of these boxes and an M4 spawns there. I've gotten it quite a few times. It seems like nobody checks it. There. I guess I'll take a peek at him really quick before I run. Still somebody shooting over there. I don't know, we got some armor. Oh wow. Jeez. So after that scav raid, I decided to go into factory with a pistol. My goal was to get another kit or kill a few scavs and grab their guns and armor. Unfortunately, it didn't really turn out how I wanted. I got a uh, clap by a chatty McChad Chad, and uh, yeah, I died. Then we tried for a second run. Not the spawn that I hoped for. Okay, that was a little sloppy. He's dead though. Looks like he had a, yeah, a Taz. Hey, it's better, better than what we have, I guess, right? Maybe not. <laughs> not good. If I had the pistol out, I might have been able to do more. It takes so long to rack that next shot in that I wasn't able to do much there. Yeah, I didn't even hit him with that. All right, well, GG. So after having no luck on factory, I decided to go back to customs one last time with the PP-19 that I don't really like, but it's all I had left, and the small armor that I just got out of the scav raid. After piecing together my scuffed kit, I decided it was time to head on into customs.
we'll take the XLs. I only had one job. Was the kit up? And I forgot the backpack. the scav? Man, if it is, he just scared the crap out of me. Oh yeah, it's a scav, alright. What? That was a miss? Oh man, he was right there. Oh, I didn't see him. Oh, he's, did he die? No, he didn't die. Kind of hard to see with this fractured arm. Thanks, Scav. And of course, this is the one raid. Oh no, I do have one. I was about to say, I thought it was the only raid I didn't bring a splint. And now that I'm looking, I didn't bring any painkillers either. Time for that. Well, I kind of want to keep uh, the AK, and since he had so many mags, I'm gonna drop my gun for it. Yes, ammo nearly full. Well, I'm not using that ammo right now, so I'm going to drop that and clear some space. I don't need a um, mag either. Alright. Well, of course, there's a giant filter when I don't have a backpack. Figures as much. Is that an SKS mag? Oh my gosh. Man, what is going on over there? I wonder if I can see that fighting from here. Oh, yes, definitely can. Not one dead. He made it in there. I wonder if I can make it to his body before his friend can make it out to come defend him. I really hope. Come on. Come on. How did he not die? That's crazy. I hit him in the head so many times. I knew that was a helmet there, but how did that not kill him? Stop up, stop up. That better have killed him. It didn't. He's dead now. Okay. I got two heavy bleeds though, so I need to lay on him quick. <laughs> heavy bleeds time, come on. Mm. Mm. Go 
that thorax. I didn't know it was that low. I would have stopped it first, or would have healed it first. <laughs> Oh wow, what is going on with this? We're gonna drop that. And that scab wanted me, didn't he? This sucks. I hit that man in the face twice. That bad ammo just didn't pin. Why won't it unload that? It's weird. I think I'm being greedy. I should probably get out of here, but... He didn't have a backpack either. That's crazy. Oh no, he did. He dropped it. Where did he drop it at? There it is. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I need. I'm gonna wait one second though. Black thorax here. So we gotta play this smart. I just wanna touch this last guy here and grab his stuff and I'm out. It might be the death of me though. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh man, these guys are kidding. found the kits that I wanted. Now I just have to get out with it.
after the long run out, I was happy to be out of this raid. We got our PMC kills. We got our kits. We got our gun. We got what we came for. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time. Thank <laughs> you.